Hi guys, I'm General Chaos and I'm back with another video. So, uh, brand new video of 2024. Uh, I know... I know exactly what I've done with this video. It's, uh, excuse me, I attempted to draw something based on something that's kind of got a bit of a... like a following at the moment, a bit of a trend. I know exactly what you're thinking, um, but there is a reason to why I also, why I wanted to, um, basically draw the skibbity toilet, um, now I actually tried to avoid the skibbity toilet for quite a while because I was like, yeah, you know, I, I really don't get this at all, I really don't understand and I... I think I finally got round to watching it. Um, I had also watched um, Lessons in Meme Culture's video on the Skibidi Toilet, and I actually have quite a bit of appreciation for the Skibidi Toilet. Like the thing is, it's it's not just a decapitated das bullshit head peering out of a toilet sk singing. Um, like a trendy song there's like apparently this law like there's all these skibbity toilets trying to take over the world and there's this giant man with a camera for a head that's equipped with like machine guns and mini guns and stuff like he has his own battle armor ready to kill all the skibbity toilets and that's just quite funny to me and it got me thinking was this really any different to what I grew up with? Like, I just, I kind of remembered, like, about 20 years ago, growing up with uh, the crazy frog becoming really popular. You know, it was on everybody's mobile phones, it was on TV a lot, loads of adverts for it, and he ended up with some friends along the way, and... And then it wasn't just the crazy frog. He started, he, you know, he started doing like covers of famous songs, and yeah, that was basically it. So, um, it, it just the the only reason I bring all this up, it's like, you know, it's like we talk about, like, apparently Generation Alpha having really stilted. Um, like sense of humour but it's like was I or were we like any different you know like there's always going to be all these really weird trends that are going to come and go and you know I um, I just think Skibbity Toilet is really no different honestly now that I've looked into it more and you know, like I said, it's like no different to the Crazy Frog. And to be honest with you, I think the Crazy Frog was a lot worse. Like, you know, it was just an anthropomorphic frog that pretended he was on a bike. Like, that was really all it was. Like, at least with Skibbity Toilet, there's... There's, like, this law to it. And, I mean, I, I guess the Crazy Frog kind of had a bit of a law as well, but that only seemed to appear around the time they made the music video to um, the cover of Axel F. And even then, it doesn't really make any sense, like, what's going on. Is the robot on the futuristic bike, like, a villain? Is he the Crazy Frog's friend? Well, I mean, I guess he wouldn't be his friend, because I think he tries to kill the Crazy Frog with a missile at one point, but... I don't know, it's like, was the Crazy Frog a villain? Like... What's going on? You know? Um, at least with Skibbity Toilet, it's, like, more coherent. Like, you know... Like, you've kind of got a, a subtle hint as to what's going on. Like, you know, it's... Anyway, um... I don't know. Just, um... Those were my thoughts on the Skibbity Toilet. Um, Talking of which, my next video could actually be me trying to draw the crazy frog. That'll be something I haven't done in a while where I've said what video I'm going to draw next. But yeah, 
anyway um i think that pretty much wraps it up for this video today i'm general chaos and i will see you all later